So I guess a lot of people know me because I've been in the fitness industry for a fair while. I set up the first personal training centre in Australia in 1990. I've worked in gyms, own gyms, work with elite athletes, work with teams, and always been pretty committed. And people often assume that I was a, a, some kind of athlete. Well, quite the opposite. So I was a morbidly obese kid. I was a chubby little kid. In fact, my nickname all through school from about grade three until I finished year 12 was Jumbo. It sounds like the sob story, but literally picked last for every sporting team. And I guess the catalyst for me or the turning point was year eight swimming sports where we were all corralled to swim. And I, uh, for about the three years preceding that, so maybe grade five, six and seven, I managed to avoid having to disrobe and to swim at the school sports. The one thing that you don't want to do when you're a fat kid is you don't want to be standing semi-naked in front of hundreds of people. I literally went and hid essentially in the change rooms and my teacher followed me in, dragged me out and said, what are you doing? Anyway, he was doing his job. I had to swim. I had to take my t-shirt off and revealed the totality of me. I'd never had that feeling. I'd been embarrassed, but this was a whole new level. I did my race and I can't remember where I came, but at the end of it, I said to myself, I'm never gonna do that again. And I went home and I went for a run. And that for me was day one. Within about three months, I was running 10 kilometers at a time. I went from 90 kilograms to 60 kilograms. I probably lost about two kilos a week. I went from fat to fit and I went from really out of shape to in shape. And you know, with this change in physiology came a change in you know emotional kind of health as well, where I started to get a bit of self-esteem. It really gave me an insight into what was possible when I used my potential instead of wasting my potential. By the time I got to 18, I was in reasonably good shape, started working in gyms back in the day. So I started working in 1982 in gyms. There weren't really any qualifications or protocols and I learned how to write programs and I studied anatomy and physiology and I studied as best that I could with what I had. And I started you know, helping other people and learning about nutrition and lifestyle and the psychology of it all and putting it together, creating a process and a plan. And I thought, well, and this sounds almost contradictory, but it's, it's clearly, it's not just about having resources. It's not just about having knowledge. It's not just about being educated. It's about our ability to do it and our ability to use the education, use the knowledge, use the resources and create the change. That was what, you know, really floated my boat. The ideas and the, the willingness to get uncomfortable and, you know, the decision making and all the stuff that surrounds, you know, all the stuff that drives the result. I set up the first PT studio in 1990 and the interesting thing about that was uh, people said it wouldn't work. Nearly everyone said that's not gonna work and who's gonna pay $40 to go for a run? Who's gonna pay 40 bucks for you to count their reps while they bench press? And uh, people did. The industry in its infancy started to get a little bit of attention so I did some radio interviews and people wanted to know what's this bloke in Hampton doing this? What is that about and how that all worked? And it kind of opened doors and it really morphed into a range of things where I became a corporate speaker. I wrote for the Herald Sun and I started my own website in 2006 or seven when nobody really knew what a blog was. Now I've had five or six books published. I've written nine, I've got a couple in the pipe work. But all of the stuff that I do now is a really around two things. One is change, how do we create change? And in broad terms, becoming a high performer, becoming a successful business person, team, individual. So my goal in being involved in the challenge is to help people get where they want to go. My job is to help people stay grounded in reality, in the process. It ultimately is about you. I can't eat for you, I can't exercise for you, I can't make decisions for you. I can't change your life. My job is to help you get your thinking where it needs to be, your mindset, your beliefs, your decision making, your motivation, your level of commitment. And that's that's my commitment to you, is to help you stay motivated, focused, positive, proactive, doing the things that you need to do, living in alignment with your values, living in alignment with your goals so that you get the best out of you.